right, so the main takeaway of this video is keeping your torso shaped like a rectangle and translating or taking that rectangle wherever you go within this flow. So from the beginning, we just get into this light knee bend, um, heels on their sides, feet out to the side, tall through the crown, we're upright as we can be. So we don't wanna be back. We wanna be as tall as possible without overtaxing the hip flexors here. And just to start this flow, you're gonna do 10 rocks, put, pinning one foot and heel and knee down and stay nice and tall through here. We don't wanna see twisting or translating of that rectangle. We want it to stay tall and if it was neon glow in the dark and someone turned the lights off, we would just see a perfect rectangle rocking back and forth onto its lower corners. So press this knee down into the floor to get really tall through here. Don't move the head, make sure it's perpendicular with the pelvis. And we're going back and forth. You're gonna do 10 of these each side and I'll re-mention this in programming. You can also reach the arm, just make sure we don't break the uh, rectangle in any way. So we wanna stay nice and built out here as we reach up. My right knee's down, I'm reaching with my left arm, so it's an opposite side reach. Don't add the arm reach until you feel really comfortable putting weight into the knee with this motion. And so practice a few of those. From that position, we'll get into our shin box, unlike our other shin box flow, and we're just gonna go here. Notice, I didn't move anything from the hips up. That side moved just a little bit if you watch that again. So practice getting into your shin box each side without moving the rectangle. I'm turning the rectangle, but it's moving by way of the pelvis. If I had headlights at my hips here, I'm taking them with me. If I had headlights here, I'm taking them with me. So imagine that same neon rectangle, and it has headlights here and headlights there. All those lights, point in the same direction and move at the same time. So once you get into your shin box, after you do a few of those per side, we have our rectangle secure. We're gonna outline the front knee just like this and get into a kind of a triangle base here. Now from this position, my hips are not gonna move while this leg does. So watching the video, I'm just practicing how far can I reach this back leg, heel away? Think about as much space between this front knee and that back heel as possible. So with that, do about five to 10 reaches. You should feel some tissues in the back area, maybe in the inside thigh. We wanna feel side glute, glute, inner thigh, less slow back over time. And again, that comes from not doing this. Moving too much through the back. So again, that's why we really reiterate the, the uh, rigidity of that rectangle as we reach back. I'm already cramping here, which again, I talked about in our session yesterday, cramping is bad movement leaving the body. So shake it out, move around, go right back, try again. And sure enough, I'm not cramping anymore. And so kind of chase that cramp away, keep rigid in the rectangle. And we're doing that both sides, um, obviously. So getting from this side to that side would look like outline, rectangle stays true, ear, shoulder, hip, all in one straight line, five to 10 reaches. If we cramp, shake it out and try again, not moving the hip. I'm moving the femur or the leg bone in the hip, but I'm not moving the pelvis. So again, we'll go to the other side. After a few of those, you'll outline, and now I'm not moving through here, but instead of reaching the leg straight back, I'm gonna hook the leg at 90-90, 
around like I'm swinging that triangle behind me. So it's going to look like that. Nice and slow and controlled. Try not to take the pelvis with you and keep the rectangle integrity the whole time. We'll shift to the other side, set up into our 90-90 outline the front. One side's always gonna be more difficult than the other, so take note and spend time here. The last two versions or variations, you'll do a number of all four of these variations, would be to outline and try to keep this rectangle savvy and lift knee and ankle the same amount without this happening. So you wanna keep nice triangle and lift. Notice how I'm not moving through here. We would hold that lift until something cramped or failed, relax, go to the other side, same thing. Lift without any movement up here until something cramps or fails. If anything, you can go higher with the ankle, just don't let the knee come down. Don't let the low back bend. So again, nice triangle, lift. Or a nice rectangle, lift. Stay outlined or we can not outline. So do three times each side to failure with the hands down. And then our final mo motion is taking the arms out. You can hinge any amount that feels comfortable, but you'll find the, the amount of hinge best for you. We take that rectangle now and we hinge it down. Again, if the lights are here and lights are here, they stay in the same direction, but we hinge forward. From this position, you're gonna lift that back leg without moving this rectangle and staying stacked ear, shoulder, hip. From this position, we wanna breathe, inhale, exhale, and we wanna shake. Keep this up the same amount. If anything, the heel can go higher. Just make sure the knee stays up as high as possible, keeping that rectangle. Pushing this front leg down into the ground to lift this back leg. That's really important. Push this leg down, your stance leg or base leg, to lift the floating or hovering leg. We go back to the other side. Repeat the same way. So hinge to a nice degree. Make sure we're not too open here. We're kind of pointing our chest down to our base knee, and we're gonna lift that back leg. Again, ankle can come higher if necessary. Knee stays as high as possible. Find the shake, find the tissues out here. Maybe some inner thigh tissues. Try not to feel the low back. If you are and there's no pain, keep going. Um, but try to move the tension out of the lumbar or low back into the leg aspects. So explore all four of those movements each side till something cramps, fatigues, and try to mirror back and forth. And all the, all the sides that are more difficult than the other one, focus more time and energy and breath there than the ones that are easier and scan them uh, daily.